Hey everybody, how's it going? So, today I'm gonna show you a detailed comparison between the original and the fake Nagoya NA771 antennas. It's a very popular model and as a result, there's a lot of knockoffs of these antennas. So, I'll show you how to spot a fake one and then we'll test these antennas using antenna analyzer and SWR meter. So, let's get started. I bought this antenna on Amazon for almost 20 bucks and this one came from AliExpress and it cost me about 8 bucks. I'll put all the links in the description. I actually contacted those sellers and they assured me that they sell only genuine Nagoya antennas. So let's find out. As you can see, they both have pretty much the same packaging. The only difference I can really see here is the printing. By the way, if you see this BTEC logo on the packaging, it's normal, because nowadays Nagoya manufactures antennas in partnership with Bauf and Tech. This packaging also has a barcode and a printed marking of the antenna connector type, whereas on this one they just marked the connector type with a marker. Now let's see what we got inside. Inside we have a rubber spacer with instruction in Chinese and English, and the antenna itself. Now let's look closely at these antennas. As you can see, this antenna has a pointy plastic tip with Nagoya logos, whereas this one has a soft silicone tip without any logos. Also, the base of this antenna doesn't have a QR code, like on this one. This QR code takes you to the official Nagoya website. And if you look closely at the cheap antenna, you'll see the glue residue on its edges and even on the side right here. I also noticed that the center pin is sticking out from its SMA connector, and it's a little bit wiggly, while more expensive antenna has a nicely finished seam without any glue residue, and the pin on this connector is not sticking out and it feels very solid. So let's move on to performance testing. I'm gonna start with the cheap antenna from AliExpress, and we're going to start at 2 meter band. So, as you can see, we got SWR 1.72 at 144 MHz, which is pretty average for cheap antennas, and we got SWR 2.75 at 440 MHz, so it's not the best antenna for the 70 cm band. And here's the actual test results from my antenna analyzer, which roughly corresponds to the previous test. Ok, next I'm gonna repeat the same process for the other antenna, which I believe is the legitimate one. Let's switch back to 2 meter band, and we got 1.03, which is a nearly perfect SWR value. Let's switch to UHF, and here we have SWR 1.94, which really isn't that bad. So this antenna performs way better than the previous one. Finally, let's see the actual SWR plot of this antenna. So, as you can see, these are totally different antennas. They look different and they perform differently. But I'm still not 100% sure that this is the fake one. It could be just an old batch even before Nagoya started to cooperate with Valve and Tech. Who knows, but what I know for sure is that this 20 bucks Nagoya has a lot more to offer, in terms of quality, transmission and reception. So, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.